Hey photographers, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, welcome. My name is Michelle and I make videos all about photography. And today's video is exciting. It's slightly different than what I've been doing. But if you're watching it, that means that my new Canva templates are available specifically for a senior model team guide. Now it was originally made for those that are doing senior model teams and you want to put all your information in there. Um, you could do up there's about me pages, perks, tasks, timelines, pricing, all the things that you can give to either digitally as a PDF to your potential clients or your potential team members, or you can get it printed in a beautiful like mag cloud magazine. And it's really easy to use and you can easily also have it as just a regular client guide. So I have a tutorial on how to change it, how to customize it, how to use it, and hopefully save you a ton of time as well as impress those potential clients. So I hope you enjoy this video. Again, if you want to grab that template for yourself, they are available with the link down in the description box below. And I hope you guys enjoy. And I just wanted to create this quick video tutorial just showing you all the different things you can do and how easy it is to use and customize. So I'm going to start with the single page template first. And for the first cover, all you have to do whenever you see this little cloud kind of picture landscape is that's a photo frame. So you can just drop your photos in there. You can drag your photos here or you can click upload media and find them on your computer. But all you simply do is come over here to where your library is and you just drag that photo and it'll pop right in. Now this first page has a transparency background so if you want this brighter all you would have to go to is, let me click on it first, there we go. You see this gradient tool up here, you click on that for transparency and you can bring it all the way up if you want it brighter, if you want it darker so the text stands out more you can lower the opacity because the background is black. Um, and so I'll leave it around there. And all you can do, if you want to edit the text, obviously you would title your team however you have named it. And you just come in and you click on the title and edit it. Now I do have, um, so let me just say, like I call mine street team. And then the I have one back here as well. It's supposed to be like a drop shadow and all I have to do to get that is I take my first layer and then I go, if you're on a Mac, Command C and Command D to copy or you can just right click and copy. So I'll right click and copy for this and then right click and paste. And then you'll wanna put the text that will be behind, you wanna make that black. And then you just layer over the top text with it and you can move it around. And that simply gives you your backdrop. So really easy to play around with the text and make it look how you want to. Now another page that I love, this is like your about me page and again this is meant to be just a bio picture of you. So again you just take it, you drag it and it will pop right in there and boom there's your picture. You just click on it to edit the text and um, it's pretty easy. All of these are little elements so you can move these around, you can add if you want. Um, again all these pages are meant to show off your work as much as possible. Um, so these are full pictures so again we can just drag in here and down here I've got a little text to like the name of the girl the class and again depending on your picture you might have to change the color so you just come up here to text color and you can change it to white um, you can change the size however you want you can make it bolder you can change the font if you want just remember that you kind of want to keep the same font families so if I would have changed this to maybe open sans then I want to change all the little text open sans just because it looks more professional if you keep like two, I'd say like two font families the same. You don't want to go too crazy. Um, and then another thing, like if you, some, let me go to like here. Okay, so this is just a full page photo. And let's say it's like really cropping your image. Um, I'm just going to pull one in here. And this crops the image quite a bit. We're pretty used to that photography, right? Like standard sizes don't fit the ratio of an image. So what you can do instead is you can delete this frame and now you've got a blank page and then you can just click on your image and it'll come in full. And then you can kind of crop it how you want. You might have to have white around. Again, if you go to the edges, it's gonna crop it, of course, because the ratio aspect. But if you wanted to just have it sit in there so you could see the full picture, you can do that as well. There's lots of fun things in here. I have, again, perks page, task page. You just come in here, click on the text, and you can write out your fun little perks that you have for the team. The task, you just click on the box and you can 
do your text. Again, we have another picture that you can throw in there. Um, a pricing investment page, throw in some pictures up here, edit your text and what you offer. And then I love this one. I loved creating this timeline for you. So this is meant to show your year at a glance. Um, it gives people a good idea of what your program looks like throughout the year. Um, and so these little areas are grouped. So if you click on it, if you want to like move just this text or just this text, you'll have to ungroup it first. And then you can click on them individually and the all that stuff. But if I prefer to keep them grouped. Um, just because it's easier to move these around without messing with the layout too much. But again, you can come in here, double click on the text and say January. I would put like the year that you're doing. And then you can write a little blurb of what you're going to do that month. So that's what that is meant to look like. And then here's your testimonial page. Again, anytime you see this landscape picture, that is going to be where a photo is meant to be. So you can drag. Now I will say, if you just click on an image, it'll just pop in like that. So you wanna make sure you drag it to the actual spot and see it kind of click in there. Kind of like a clippy mask in Photoshop. And same thing with this little page here. Again, click on the text for anything you want to you know, edit and obviously lots of raves and reviews. Same thing with this page. Obviously, you want to give yourself five stars, but if you don't want the stars, you can just delete them if that's not your vibe. And then here, I got a fun letter to parents. Um, I always like to write a little blurb of just how much I understand the importance of what I have with their teenager and everything like that, and just that I'm so honored and that um, I'm just excited to boost their confidence, all the things, and then the back page. Okay, and then when you've got all your pages edited and you're ready to export essentially and save your PDF, you just come up to download this button up here at the top right. And then I would suggest PDF print, um, especially if you're planning on printing this magazine or even when you're delivering it to clients digitally, it just looks a lot nicer. So you just click print and then you'll click download and then it's gonna download all of your pages into one PDF, which is really nice. And lastly, I just wanted to go over the spreads templates that you're going to get as well. So this is just a version of what you get with the single images. And sometimes this is nice if it just helps you visually look at what it would look like as a magazine cover or magazine pages. Um, it just kind of depends on how you want to email and share your work with your client. So it'll be like left page, right page. So I'm going to click through here which makes more sense a little bit on the single pages why there's so many just full page images is because they're meant to go inside with a text image. So again, you can throw in an image on this side and then um, fill in your text on this. And it's just a way to, again, show off your work while educating your potential team member. Um, another one, again, you're gonna be talking about your street team or your senior, or senior model team, excuse me, over here. And then you can throw in like a little collage of images over here. Anytime you see a little square box, that's what it is. And look how fast it is. Boom. And this is like a little grid. So you can like change all of it at once, which is really nice. You don't have to individually change it if you don't want to. And um, it's just really easy to use, guys. Drag and drop. It's going to save you so much time. Um, and again, these are full spreads. So you can see what it would look like as a magazine. Again, boom, throw in pictures there. You can edit text here and done. So easy. And again, I would suggest anytime you have like a heavy um, text page that you'll have, you'll complement it with an imagery. Again, you're just kind of subtly showing off your work. Um, I did want to mention things like this. So again, you can see that I left this space for a full image. You would just bring in your image here and you can kind of crop it however you want and then put your text and stuff on this side. Same with this. Um, I don't need to put a frame every time. I don't think I think you understand <laughs> where you can put your images and stuff. So I'm hoping that this will give you guys some ideas as you are editing your magazine. Again, you can put a full frame here. If you would rather do like a collage right here real quick, all you would go is to elements and then you'll scroll down to where you see uh, grids, see all. And then these are all the different grids you can just pop in. So this one's a nice one. 
this one's three image, it's gonna fill the whole spread. So all you have to do to resize it is you just move this over. And if you wanna make it more proportional, you can go like right here. And then it's nice because it has a lot of guides as you drag the templates through. So you can see that purple guide kind of showing you where it's safe to have text, um, especially if you're gonna print this later. But all you do is you pop that in and then you go to your uploads and where all your images are. And this is where you can just drag and drop all your stuff. It's so easy, guys. It's so easy to use. It's gonna save you so much time. So I hope this video tutorial was helpful and I can't wait to see what you guys create.